Kanye is revealing the lens he went through to protect Kim Kardashian when they were together. Last year, Ray J's former manager, WAC 100, claimed he had an unreleased sex tape of Kim and Ray J that was just as raunchy and graphic as the first one. WAC 100 reached out to Ye and said, we got part two on the laptop and it's never been seen. We'd love for you to have it. At the time, Kim's team said WAC 100's claims were false, but Ye said that he went to uh, go get the laptop from Ray J that same night. Ye claims he got on the red eye, met Ray J at the airport, and got on another red eye to come back in time to deliver the laptop to Kim at 8 in the morning. Ye alleges that Kim broke down in tears. Do you commend Ye for protecting his Kim? Somebody lying. Um, Ray J just put a tweet out or an Instagram post today, um, and I'm paraphrasing, but it basically said, can y'all chill out with this? I have kids too. You know what I'm saying? Secondly, we live in a digital era. Just because somebody handed you the laptop is no assurance that a copy was not made. You know what I'm saying? And anybody named WAC 100, I'm sure they maintained a copy of the dog on tape. I sure as hell wouldn't have handed over the laptop with the only copy. I'm sure if there was another copy, you know, you getting the laptop is just symbolic at best and a false sense of security. Because anybody with two brain cells would have backed up the tape on a flash drive somewhere and put it in a sock drawer. So I don't know what security this supposed laptop granted any of them. Um, I don't know what to believe at this point. You know what I'm saying? It's just so much going on. And again, I just don't know. I, I, we would go crazy trying to understand Kanye. I just don't understand his motivation behind sharing any of this. Al, what do you think about this? I think I think we 100 percent know, know the motivation that uh, Kanye has behind this. Uh, if there's one thing as a super megastar, worldwide megastar that you probably don't want talked about anymore in the media, if you were Kim Kardashian, would be your sex tape. So I think the fact that he's bringing it up, this is an undercurrent. This is an undercover dig at her in bringing up this sex tape once again. Like Ray J said, man, that was years ago. I got kids. He should be ashamed for even bringing it up because he's got four children with her. And if he did do it, why does he want credit for what he's supposed to do? He married her. He's supposed to protect her. He has four kids with her. He laid down with her once, but he ended up with four with her. I mean, well, I, you know, I don't take that the wrong way. But all I'm saying is he's down for lifetime taking care of that family and protecting them. He's got four kids, but he's going to be doing that for the rest of his life. But I clearly view this as a dig. This is an undercover dig of him getting back at her for running around town with Pete Davidson. Pete to me. 1000%. I mean, I'm sure they've had many a conversation about how that tape made her really feel. You know, although it did oh, yeah. put her on, I'm sure he knows exactly how that is a her Achilles heel. Achilles her heel. And, and here you are bringing it up. Now, listen, shout out to Jason Lee, our very own Fox host, Jason Lee, because his interview with Kanye was fantastic. And the fact that he's sitting down with the likes of a Kanye West and having a very good interview with him. That's amazing. But Kanye West, at this point, I am Kanye out. I am Kanye out. It feels like you're on a campaign. You're shoving yourself down our throats, pause. And I'm over it. Like, we don't need to hear every detail. I don't need to see any more of your little white girlfriend with the horrific makeup. Like, it, it's too much. It's Kanye overdose. And I feel like it's a mistake. When you were a little bit more mysterious, you were more interesting. Now it's giving, it's giving, too, it's giving overexposure. It's giving too much. And I'm sick of it. It's I'm exhausted. Bitter, it's giving bitter baby daddy world star hip hop. Like, <laughs> and, then, think, and to, Kim, I, to Kim's credit, she's not even saying anything. She just like she's gonna end up winning in the end right. because she is just not even addressing it. She's probably pissed, but she's not saying anything. You know, I don't know. We're gonna say Al. Oh no, I was just gonna say I, I think he's confused. He's confused and he and he's been blinded by the Kardashian light. They have a machine over there that everything that they do and everything that they say, it spreads like wildfire. 
What he doesn't understand is that he is not, for a better sense of a better word, he's not a young, pretty, white female. He's a black male. Him doing this type of marketing and PR makes him look desperate. It makes him look a little bit crazy. It makes him look unstable. And it, like you said, Claudia, it's pulling a lot of the once admiration that we had for him. And we're placing that word admiration with disheveled, crazy, uh, not good. And, and that alone is not good for his marketing, considering all the deals that he has going on. And people saying, oh, well, why y'all keep bringing him up? Do you not hear the beginning of the show? We talk, whatever's trending, we have trending. to talk, we talk and, about but it. I, I, I'm going to tell you what's I'm, I'm, I'm going to tell you something too, but Kanye better watch out. It's going to get to a point where emotionally she gets fed up and she's going to fight back. Yeah. And women start fighting back with that custody of the kids. And then she is going to start using them rich white woman buzzwords, them trigger right. words. I feel uncomfortable. Uncle. I feel unsafe. unsafe. I, you know what I'm saying? I he's right. he's unpredictable. That's right. And you're already a black man, so you already come into the courtroom as the villain, That's coupled right. with your erratic behavior in the media. It's not helping you. Once she once she utters unsafe i think he's unstable i think the children will be unsafe around him it's a wrap wow. so he better chill the hell out and water his grass and just wave at her while she come out to get her mail <laughs> he'll move across the street from the damn lady i mean and as much as people are saying oh well he's about to blow that whole family up and tell their secrets don't you think kim kardashian has some Kanye West secrets that he would not want oh, us sure. to know too. Like this could get really ugly. They're both extremely powerful, ex extremely uh, lots of exposure. You know what I mean? Like they can, with a tweet can put up, it could be a real bad look for all your brands. Like Kanye right. in the court of public opinion, short term, you ain't feel like you're getting a dig in, but long term, Kim is playing it the way she's supposed to be playing. Don't sit here and say I'm capping for the Kardashians. I'm capping for the one that's handling it. Like they got some kids that may see this. Right. And Kanye right now is not like the you, you do too much. It's annoying. I'm over it. And get your girlfriend some better makeup. You Kanye West. Like, what are we doing? That black goth. I don't know. It's giving party city. <laughs>